Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. I'm Will and we're here on the island of Oahu in Hawaii. Um, I was doing a hike here in Manoa Falls, which is in the Manoa Valley, and I came across this. And that is a tremala mushroom. Um, also known, it's in the woodier family, it's a jelly fungus, it's also known as uh, snow fungus, white fungus, has about six other names that I can't remember. But it is a mushroom that grows in a climate like this, so a tropical, wet, humid climate is perfect for it. And I was on my way out from the falls and it caught my eye. Now, they don't offer much from a culinary value. They don't have much flavor to them, mostly just texture. So they're thrown into soups. It's almost like a uh, crunchy seaweed, if anything. Um, but what they do offer is an incredible medicinal value. And what it offers is a ton of collagen. Collagen's good for your skin, it's good for your hair, good for your joints, it's good for everything. So it has a ton of plant collagen, and that is what most Asian cultures use this mushroom for. They make what's called Chinese anti-aging soup. So I think we're gonna cultivate this guy, bring it home, make a very simple soup. Not really for flavor, but for medicinal quality. Let's see what we can do about these grays, some of these wrinkles, but let's grab that, head back to the house and make our, uh, really just a tea. It's not big enough for a whole soup. So this is on the walk home from the falls, which is actually that way. I had to loop around to come back. But this is very fitting, the Chinese cemetery um, right next to the house where I'm staying. So this is the Manoa Valley. And off to our left, we have absolutely beautiful, beautiful mountainscape. And to the right, and then down this way, if you can see off in the distance there, that is Honolulu and Waikiki. Um, and like I said, if you look back up over here, you can see that that is all rain clouds hovering above Manoa Falls. And that is what created the environment for these woodier mushrooms to grow so perfectly. Now this cemetery is really interesting too. Um, the person, Becca, that I'm staying with told me a little bit of history about it. So I'm quoting her uh, that they had someone come in who is an expert in feng shui. And it's really cool if you go up to the point here, you see exactly where the valley, the two mountainscapes end, and right at the end of it, you're looking at Honolulu, and it's a beautiful view. We'll go up there and check it out. bit of shallot and we're throwing that into I have the heat on but the pan is not hot and then a little bit of turmeric because turmeric is anti-inflammatory also very good for you and garlic which is anti-fungal anti-inflammatory also very good for you 
and we're gonna throw in a Hawaiian uh, chili pepper. But I'm not gonna cut it open, I'm just gonna throw it in there. And then we have our snow fungus, or white fungus, or tremala mushroom. And throw that in, and now, Over that in water. And we put a little bit of sea salt, some black peppercorns. Now I am going to bring that up to a boil. And I'm gonna boil that for 20 minutes minimum because what I want to happen is for that collagen to break down and release into the water from our uh, snow mushroom. Um, the other thing, I gave it a rinse because like a doofus after I cut it off and put it on the paper towel, I dropped it in the dirt. So I gave it a quick rinse in uh, cold water, made sure it was all clean, and then right into here with the water. Now you could do this could be added to ramen, this could be added to any vegetable soup, and again, it's not going to offer much of a flavor. Really, all it's going to offer is a bit of a texture depending on how long you cook it. We're going to cook it for a while here to break it completely down to get that collagen to release, and then I'm going to strain everything that's in there, and then we have our tea. <laughs> So we let it ride for about 25 minutes to get everything out. And uh, thanks to that turmeric and the uh, chili pepper, it is a gorgeous golden color. Show you that. Also, this is my view right now, where I'm sitting. Absolutely beautiful. Um, one of the things I want to say too is consume mushrooms that you forage at your own risk. Do not use me as someone to identify mushrooms. I am a novice and amateur at best. I have good people that showed me a few things and I go after things that I only am absolutely positive of what they are. Um, you still do run a risk. So again, consume forage mushrooms at your own risk. I'm going to dive in. I keep calling it a tea. This is really a magnificent broth that you could put noodles in, um, fish. I mean, it, it's an amazing base, actually. Oh, yeah. That is good. And one of the things I'm going to dig out, so I pulled out a couple of the pieces of the uh, snow mushroom. Let me see if I can actually grab one here. Because <clears throat> I want to better describe the, uh, the texture. It looks very much like seaweed. And it's going to be... Like seaweed. Had we boiled it a little bit less, it would have had a little bit more of a snap to it, a little more texture, but I really just wanted all that collagen out and in my tea, or broth, or soup. Dealer's choice. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this, relax, and enjoy this view. Also, can you tell I already feel younger? I just ate that, I think, I think it's working. All right, guys, if you like this episode, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.